good guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will teach you how to create a django dynamic urls in the previous video you have learned how to create a url how to create a views functions and how to link it and run using the browser in this video you are going to learn how to create a dynamic urls so before creating a dynamic url so let me explain you what types of dynamic urls do we have in django let's understand the dynamic urls dynamic urls can be a three types integer dynamic url string dynamic url and slug dynamic url let's understand the let us understand the integer url integer urls in the django are used to capture numeric values from the url path when you pass url path at your browser you can pass using the slash some numeric value this is achieved using the integer uh, less than integer double colon for real name greater than symbol using this syntax we will write this syntax in the url files path converter integer urls are commonly used when we when you need to capture numerical you know identifiers such as a primary key from the url to the retrieve a specific record from a database or perform other operations based on the numerical you know value let's understand the string one suppose you are building a url pattern for capturing username for the user profiles page the user can usernames can include spaces you know that's what so how it constructed so username can include a spaces a special character and wide range of characters it is achieved using the this syntax okay now what is the slug slug is imagine you are creating a urls for blog posts and articles you want these urls to be clean user fair see seo friendly search engine optimization friendly and easy to read you decide to use slug converter to capture the articles titles this is achieved using this this syntax so we'll see each and every things practically let us start with the integer okay so let's go to the, our project that we have created so far using our you know using my videos following my videos so let's go to the project so to teach this one i'm going to create a, a few different you know the first of all go to the views because this is our previous you know files from the so we are going to create another you know another views here what is that i'm here no go to the views i'm here go to the views and inside the view i'm creating another function based views called the course this course pass the request as we have done in the previous video http and return http response just write simply this is a django course fine like that so if you want to create go to the url create it here path and link those you know link that one we can use the single quotation double quotation we call python works you can use any any of these for writing course sources now we are going to link this one as a simple way i use views inside the views what functions courses you are why is not coming courses because there is no comma put the comma there and this hints will come views dot c what is the challenge view views dot courses yeah guys save it now we can now we can go to the browser make sure make sure your server is running make sure server is running my server is running let me check saving your yeah, server is running so go to the here localhost 8000 slash courses okay this is a django course so so far we have done it here simple url now we want to send as a this is our url we want to make the this is dynamic so what we are going to, so we are going to so we are going to see first so guys we are going to see first integer type you know integer type dynamic url so this is syntax you can see on the screen so we are going to create here 
less than greater than between right integer followed by double colon and your variables so i'm writing here course id course id examples so this is a url so now what we have to go we go to the views go to the views and we can write here or what we can do guys we can leave it this one aside we don't disturb this one let us create so be here let us create a new views def course details or course course details simply details why spelling of mistakes details pass the request parameter first of all then double colon return http i will show you the, in this one we are learning using the http we can say here something what something let me tell you let us go to the url we create another url path path then pass here courses inside the courses suppose i want to do there as a path sorry integer course id this is a variable i am giving and then i do this one please call this views itself which one call this views course which one why is not coming please commit okay that's hints course details i'm mapping this url with course details view which is a here so since you are passing these variables course id as a dynamic so we can take copy this one and pass to this url here as a parameter and then we can print this one here are you getting me course id save it we can save the url as well now we have a two url for the two different views one url course for the course another url course slash no course id for the course details so when we are going now visit to the let me copy this one just to save the time copy now i will go to there so when i visit here course is coming course but when i put here type side one course id one is coming if i pass two course id three is coming we pass four course id five so what is the beauty of this one we are able to pass the course id to the browser now using this id this can be primary you know this can be you know uh, the primary let us go to the slide you can say you know integer url are commonly used when you need to capture numeric identifiers such as a primary key from the from the url to retrieve a specific record from the, the database what you, i mean to say here that if you want to pass you know you want to fetch retrieve the specific course here the course id might be one two three or etc so you want to fetch from the you know database and you can display on the screen so that is the purpose of integer so now here we have integer let's go and change here something suppose i am passing for coming but i am writing here integer no blah 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 system is giving error system is giving an error because this is not your integer type can you see here this is not your integer type i want to pass a string type might be that you are looking for a string type you know the url so we can go there and change here this one as a str save it let's go there and refresh it's able to work can you see here it's become a string type bring bring a, a string type let's understand the sludge type as well if i want to write a sludge and slug here slug a sludge what you read slug slug now here if you write a slug and write it here it's coming fine so we will surprise what is the difference between the slug and a string you know slug a string so let me make you understand by the simple examples let us understand here by the simple examples i am writing here simply okay here might be writing x y z or x y z a space a b c this is my string i am passing and system is giving errors why because i have put it the slug type but when i write str here save it and same i will put it x a b c d okay let me do it and change up here you can see the url guys i'm giving the space can you see the space in between i'm putting here a b c and it's working fine there is no problem 
there is no problem so when you are using the string a string type of a url then let us understand with the powerpoint you can say a string type suppose you are building a url pattern for capturing the username for user profiles page user name can include a space a special characters and wide range of characters this is achieved using this one this is what happening so when you're using the string type you can include the white space as well that we can see white space as well but when you use the slug type white space is not allowed even you can use the special symbol at one two three and here you go works but when i go here and part pass a sludge or slug here change it here i change it and i go as same inputs and i enter there is an error so let us understand what is the slug so slug say imagine you are creating a url for a blog post and articles blog post means you know we have a blog or different kind of blogs so you want to these urls to be clean and seo friendly seo means search engine optimization friendly and easy to read you decide to use the slug converter to capture the articles this this is achieved using this one this is a syntax so what i mean to say here this is just a simple uh, definitions of the slug here different within slug and uh, you know the string means string string includes a space and a special collector right at you know hash blah 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 and wide range of character but slug does not accept does not include at white space etc slug is used underscore and white space sorry underscore and hyphen so let me see what is the type slug let me make it not error so i'm going to pass it here to make it slug sy hyphen a b c hyphen like we can say my as hyphen blog hyphen about hyphen is hyphen my blog about about no about django hyphen this is okay because slugs okay does not allow the white space a special symbols but it allows hyphen or underscore let me put it here underscore instead of hyphen underscore is a more readable you know then hyphen this is also good but a string you know that is the main different a string accepts any kind of characters uh, special symbols but slug does not accept a special symbol like a at and all so guys hope you have understood this one the what different types of dynamic url we can create so next video i will teach you how to you know the render your html files how to you know use the pass the data use the uh, using the a uh, rendering while rendering the html file we will see also how to make a dynamic urls with html file while we are rendering you know We'll see. So guys, we'll see in the next video. Bye-bye.